There are Confederate monuments in more than half of North Carolina's 100 counties. In fact, several of the monuments are here in the triad. The counties in our area that have markers are shaded on this map. Groups in several counties have called for the monuments to be removed. That includes Winston-Salem. The city is asking for a statue on private property to be removed tonight. The owner says that they plan to do whatever they can to keep the statue in its place. Our Chief King is live in downtown Winston-Salem tonight tonight with the latest reaction to this controversy. Steve? Well, this week, the city of Winston-Salem sent a letter to the United Daughters of the Confederacy telling them that this statue needs to be removed by the end of the month for multiple reasons. Now, Mayor Allen Join says that while he understands that some people hold the statue in high regard for historical reasons, it's a, a symbol of oppression and subjugation of people. Mayor Allen Joins expects courts to ultimately remove the statue if the United Daughters of the Confederacy refuse to move it by the end of the month. The mayor says the city had already proposed moving the statue at the city's expense to the Salem Cemetery less than a mile away, but the group ignored those proposals. Now, the United Daughters of the Confederacy is responding to the city's new order. The group said in part, The heavy-handed tactics of the city and its threat of legal action against us are as shocking as they are dishonorable. When so many real problems are facing Winston-Salem and its citizens, city officials would rather engage in a cheap political stunt and distraction. Here's what Mayor Allen Joins said in response to that statement. The dollars chose to ignore our very quiet uh, request and, and, and what I thought very legitimate offers. We're not acting uh, heavy handed. We're working to protect the citizens of Winston-Salem from potential violence that's occurred in other cities across the country. The United Daughters of the Confederacy says the group will do whatever it can to keep this statue in place. The monument is on private property, and that's why Mayor Allen Joyne says it does not violate North Carolina law to move it. Reporting live in Winston-Salem, Steve King, WXII.